How's it going everyone? Spenny here, back with another video. Today we got a ton of video game pickups. We got some stuff from my local thrift store, and we also got a bunch of stuff from Walmart. There was a huge sale. I'll drop a picture right here. And there was just a ton of video games. PS4, PS5, Xbox, a ton of video games just on sale. So I was like, let's check them out, and we dug through these bins for a long time. So without wasting too much more time, let's just get right into it and see what we got. So the first thing we picked up was from the thrift store. We got Diablo 3. I honestly haven't played any of the Diablo games, so I was like, let's just pick it up, try it out. I know they also have it on next gen, at least I believe they do, but they had this, I mean, it's a thrift store, so you get what you get. And hopefully it's good. I don't know anything about it. It looks kind of like an RPG, so I don't know if I'll like it. If I don't, I'll always sell it, but I guess We'll find out. I know it is owned by the same people that made Overwatch. I like Overwatch, so maybe it's good. Now this is a game that I've actually been keeping my eye on, but I never really wanted to buy it just because I didn't know if I'd play it too much, but this kind of came out, just jumped right out at me. Mortal Kombat DC Universe. This is honestly a crazy mashup of video game characters slash movie characters. I know it's just Mortal Kombat and having DC in it is just such a cool thing. I don't know much else about it, but jumped out at me obviously and needless to say it looks super cool. And I do like Mortal Kombat games. I'm hoping there's a good story to it because I'm pretty sure all Mortal Kombat games do have a story. Maybe except the PS1 games because I did play that. There's somewhat of a story, but there's no cutscenes or anything like that. Now we finally got the last Lord of the Rings movie we needed for our VHS collection. Awesome. This was the hardest one to find. This is the second movie. I don't know why. I found multiple of the first one, third one. Every single time I go, I find at least one Lord of the Rings movie, but never the second one until today. And finally, I don't know why it took so long. I love the Lord of the Rings movies. I'm going to have to rewatch all of them again now. Now moving on to Walmart. So we spent $100 in total and I would say it was well worth it. We got four games, that's pretty good. $25 a game if we're kinda gonna even it out here. And let's just see what we got. Okay, I believe this is pronounced Kazi or Kaz. I'm not quite sure. I didn't hear about it until I saw it. This one was only 1999 or 96. Um, it looks kinda just like a side scroller, kinda like a Mario-esque game. Not too much about it. There's not even really much on the back as you can see, but it looks cool and it was cheap, so I was like, let's try it out. That's basically how I make all my video game purchases, to be honest. And the fact that it's all games on disc, if I don't like it, I can just sell it. So what's the point in not pulling the trigger and picking everything up that looks cool? Now, this one, another one that we've had our eye on. So, fun fact, I was gonna buy this game a few months ago. It was on sale on Amazon for the same price, $25. That's how much it actually was. And what happened was I went to go buy it. I was a little slow. I get updates on stuff that goes on sale and it said it was on sale. I clicked on the listing and it said, yes, like we have it, but it'll ship in three to six months. And I was like, I'm not waiting that long. Hopefully I can find it before the three to six months are up so that I can buy it sooner. And well, waiting kind of paid off this time because we got it. I would say maybe two months after we saw that listing on Amazon. And now we have it, and it is the deluxe edition too, which is a good deal, $25, and it is a horror game, so I'm very excited. Now here's a game that I was waiting to go down in price for a long time. So if you don't know what this game is, it's called The Last Guardian. It's basically you're with this giant ferret or type of animal. I'm not exactly sure what kind of creature it is. It even doesn't know what kind of creature it is. It has antlers. It's some kind of made up mystical creature. But anyways, the game sounds cool enough, right? You're kind of just taming this animal and kind of wandering around this abandoned kind of world. Problem is it's very glitchy and it's been glitchy. Like, I don't know why they can't fix all these glitches. There's a whole thread on it on Reddit. And basically I was like, I need this when it's a good price. This normally goes for 30 to $40 and that's way too much for a game that is. It literally has game breaking glitches that, that makes you get stuck and you have to reset the game. It's totally 
probably not worth paying 30 to 40 dollars but I found it for 15 and easily justified the price and I can finally try it out for myself. Now the very last game we got here is Marvel Avengers and I really don't know what this version entails because it's big. It is bigger than your normal game. Normally these come with bonus stuff, right, that makes it take up so much space compared to a normal game. This says it has six patches inside. We're gonna open it up just because let's do it. And I need to bring this to college if you didn't watch my previous video. So I need to take the disc out and put it in my kind of disc binder. So let's check it out. And while we're doing that, we'll check out In Sound Mind too because I think there's bonus stuff in there too. Okay, this one is weird. It opens up from the side and at least in the Sonic game and in the Skywalker Saga game that I bought that are in this styled case, they open from the top. And I hate these because they're cardboard and they bend when you open them. Okay, this one wasn't too bad, but I really don't like these. They take up a lot of shelf space just because they're the size of three different Xbox games. Here's the game. Normal size, normal everything. And you want to see the reason why this was such a big box? Wow, okay. So I don't know why, I was expecting stickers, but we actually got patches. Like patches that I would assume you put on like a jacket or stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So I'm not going to open it because I'm not going to use it. I don't know if I'll ever use it. It's just a cool thing to have. And I'll keep it in the box, but yeah, there's five different patches in here. They are not Velcro or anything. I think you have to iron them on. So that that's cool though, honestly. If I get a jacket that I want to put a patch on, I'll do it. And I have them just lying around basically, so maybe the time will come. But I'm not gonna open them right now, because I don't need them. And we have another disc to add to our disc binder. Still have a lot of space in here, so if I buy any games while I'm away at college, I'll have extra room to put them away. And for In Sound Mind, we just got a digital art code as well as the disc. Very cool. Honestly, you would expect a little bit more for a deluxe edition, but I think this is like an indie game, so they don't have too much money to spend on extras and add-ons. And that's everything we got. Honestly, I'm very happy with our haul. We got a ton of great games for good prices, and that's what I like to see, obviously, as a collector. And a huge thanks goes out to all of my Patreon members and supporters, if you want to know more about how to become a Patreon member and a member of the channel, all that information will be linked down in the description of the video. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.